What's up guys? It's your boy Giovanni, the G35 fan, back at it again with another video on the channel. So for today's video, we got another episode of Let's Talk About the G. So guys, if y'all saw the title, um, today's topic of discussion is why do we love our G35s? So, uh, whether it be a coupe or a sedan, when it comes down to it, there's certain things that we love about these cars. And, uh, just thought, uh, yeah, we can discuss them. So, if you have a G35, y'all stay tuned, guys, because, uh, that's pretty much what today's episode is about. But, like always, guys, been talking too much. So, let's get this video started. <laughs> So guys, like I had mentioned, today's topic of discussion is why do we love our G35? So uh, I thought this would be a good topic to discuss being that I love my G35 and for it being uh, almost 20 years old, you know, when you see your G35, whether it's in the driveway or the parking lot, wherever you're at, uh, you know, and you put the smile on your face to just drive it then, you know, something, Infinity did something right when they, uh, you know, made this car. So I thought I would uh, give you my personal reasons why I love the car. And maybe I could get y'all's feedback and see if we have the similarities when it comes to why you love your G35. And, uh, you know, see what happens. But like always, man, leave y'all's comments down below. And, you know, give me y'all's feedback. So starting off with number five on the list is going to have to be the power on these cars. Now, the power isn't, you know, like where it's like where, you know, you're having like 400 horsepower, you know, freaking well into the high digits. But the, for a stock G35 motor, I mean, this car gets up and goes. Uh, now, there is, you know, newer cars out there that, you know, you can say, oh, well, the G35 slow compared to this car. But when you look at it. For this time that the G35s came out, um, I would say that they, you know, they did very well when it came to having the VQ motor and, uh, you know, they're pretty fast. Um, I use this as my daily. When I had my coupe, I use it as a daily and, you know, it was just enough power to, you know, if I was running late to work or if there was somebody on the highway that was, you know, driving slow and you needed to get on the highway. Uh, you had enough power to just push the gas and, you know, be able to get on the highway. And, you know, like I said, it's not the fastest car, but for a V6 3.5 liter motor, uh, you know, it gets up and goes. I've had other V6s, like I had a V6 Mustang, and that was a 3.8, and, you know, it, it got up and, you know, moved, but just to a certain point, it wouldn't reach to, you know triple digits as far as the g35 the g35 can get to triple digits and go well past what the mustang could go and i know because i had the mustang and tried to you know see how far it can go and um being that you know i have a sedan and i can get into the triple digits it's pretty impressive but uh yeah having the having the power is number five on the list so number four on the list is gonna be the looks now some people they say, you know, the front of the car, you know, is not really appealing. Um, you know, it just depends on your perspective. But for me, the looks of the G35, especially the coupe, um, they're just very, you know, just over aged. I mean, they're just something to look at. Whether you have, you know, it's stocked and you have the rims that come with the vehicle, you know, the rays, it's a very beautiful car. Um, the main thing that I love about the G35 and is very eye-catching was you know the signature tail lights because everyone knows those tail lights resembled the skyline uh the r34 whatever it was um you know just the way it looked it was very appealing and that's one of the reasons why i got my g35 coupe was because of the looks because that that rear end of the g35 just looked nice and was very clean you know was low to the ground and it's just a beautiful car so, um, you know, like I had mentioned, when you when you see that in your driveway or parking lot, you know, it just puts a smile on your face that, you know, that's my car. So, uh, yeah, that's the fourth thing. So, guys, for the third thing on the list, it's going to have to be the features that came with this car. 
So comparing to other um, vehicles around this time of age from 2003 to 2007, hands down, I'm going to have to give it to the G35 because uh, this car came with a lot of features. You had uh, just the name, you had the uh, heated seats, you had the heated uh, dual climate control, the 6 CD uh, Bose audio uh, stereo the navigation uh, depending on which uh, you know model you had um, you had power windows power locks sunroof the defroster on the power mirrors the power mirrors you had a sunroof you had uh, the <clears throat> the steering wheel that had the telescope uh, you know adjustment um, you know the anti-glare rear view mirror I don't know if I mentioned that but uh, you had a lot of features inside you know your G35 that a lot of cars at the time didn't have and were still you know coming up with stuff uh, so you know for it being a year uh, almost 20 years of being out um, since mine came out you know that's that's crazy because even my my wife's car is a 2021 Mazda CX CX6 and some of the features that that car has my G35 has the same thing so it's kind of crazy how the features on these cars uh you know are still around and you know I love it and it's one reason why I love this car cuz you know I have a lot of you know little gadgets that a lot of cars at this time didn't really have so that's number three on the list. So the second thing on the list is going to have to be the sound. Now, uh, Infiniti or Nissan uh, used that VQ motor for a lot of their vehicles as far as the platform. They used it for the G35s. They used it for the 350Zs. They used it for the Infiniti uh, SUVs. And, you know, whether you have any of those vehicles, that VQ motor sounds beautiful has a distinct sound, a tone to it that everybody knows that there's a G35 around or, you know, a VQ around. Kind of how the same scenario with the, you know, the Subarus. You can tell a Subaru just by that, you know, that sound. Uh, so I'm going to have to say the sound would be number two on the list. Why I love this car because starting it up in the morning when it's a cold start, uh, you know, it just has that deep rumble and it's a beautiful sound so uh, that's number two on the list so for the number one thing guys I'm gonna have to say is the emotional feelings you get when owning a G35 so the way I can you know put it into perspective is say your G35 has been down for you know a couple of weeks right and you haven't been able to drive it you get the car fixed and uh, it's your first time driving the car for, you know, for it being out for two weeks. You see it, you see it in the driveway, you get excited, you get a certain feeling. You turn the car in, you hear that VQ motor, and, you know, it just puts a smile on your face. You take it on the road, and, you know, you're driving it, and, you know, you just get this certain feeling of, you know, you love this car. And... That's pretty much, you know, the reason why I would say number one on the list is just the emotional feeling you get when driving these cars. Whether it just be the looks, you know, the sound, the power, whatever it, whatever it is, whatever Infinity did when designing this car, they did, you know, a perfect job because to have that feeling of, you know, owning a car that you get happy every time you see, uh, you know, is something that I would say is something well accomplished. Um, so th those are my personal opinion and reasons why I love the G35. Whether it be the sedan on the coupe, I feel the same way for both. And that's something that, you know, you can't really say about a lot of cars. Um, more people would, you know, go toward all oh, the sports car because, you know, it's a sports car. Whatever they tried to do with that and make it a you know, family car, you know, it's something when you can do that with both cars and have both feelings for both the same way um you know it's it's something that's you know pretty cool and uh you know i just thought i would you know give y'all my my thoughts let me know what y'all think how y'all feel about your g35 if any of the points that i had mentioned uh you can relate to but like always leave y'all's comments down below and uh that's pretty much it guys so like always Stay tuned for the next episode. But uh, yeah, it's your boy Giovanni. Y'all stay safe out there. Peace.